Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the hematology laboratory equipments. Some of the equipments will be discussed in this presentation. Regarding the contents of this uh, presentation, first of all we will know what is a hematological laboratory. Next we will go for the instruments like uh, microscope, then hemocytometer, then Shelley's hemoglobiter and uh, last of all I will put some references for your further studies. Now hematology laboratory. A hematology laboratory comes under the category of medical laboratory or clinical laboratory. That means when we face some problem regarding our body, we used to go to doctor, doctor used to prescribe some tests to do and we uh, straightway go to a particular laboratory who deals with all those tests and uh, we are going to get uh, results. So that particular laboratory is hematology laboratory which is known as medical or clinical laboratory. The results obtained from the laboratory test help us to diagnose, treat and prevent certain diseases. Naturally, when we know that what uh, type of diseases we are suffering with, uh, we can treat it accordingly according to the advice of the doctor and it will be prevented in most of the cases. Now each and every hematological laboratory have two subunits. Number one is coagulation unit and number two is blood bank unit. Now coagulation unit deals with the blood clotting times and tests related to the coagulation factors. Means we know that we have few clotting factors in our body which helps uh, our blood uh, to clot whenever it is uh, shedding out from the body to restore the blood volume and the blood cells and all. Now if a person is suffering from uh, this type of problem that uh, the blood is shedding and it is not uh, stopping like that then uh, it is uh, uh, maybe due to some problem in the coagulation uh, factors or the coagulation process of the body and that particular uh, part is dealt in that unit that is coagulation unit. The second one is blood bank unit. Blood bank unit deals with immunohematology part that are related to blood group determination, compatibility testing of donor and recipients. That means if in emergency we require the blood, we have to match the particular blood of the donor with the recipient and that particular activity is done in the blood bank unit. Now organization of the hematology laboratory depends on three basic aspects. Number one is laboratory equipments, number two is laboratory staffs, number three is laboratory informatics. Now laboratory equipments means those essential things or those essential accessories without which we cannot think of any laboratory whether it is hematological or biological or uh, biochemistry if anything. Laboratory staff means those uh, learned people who actually run the hematology laboratory in a very good way like there will be a lab technician, there will be a lab in charge, some staffs related to the um, tests and all. So these are laboratory staffs. Laboratory informatics means each and every laboratory in a particular hospital is related to the particular department and all these departments are interconnected uh, to run properly that particular hospital. So this part is dealt with the hematology uh, sorry laboratory informatics. Now laboratory equipments are those essential accessories just I have told that without which a lab cannot be uh, act properly. It includes the instruments. Instrument means microscope, hemocytometer, hemoglobinometer like that. Glass goods like measuring cylinder, beaker, pipette etc and other important equipments made up of plastic suits etc. We can say about the plastic uh, racks which are used to put the you know, samples etc. Now laboratory instruments uh, are the most important equipments. This laboratory instruments includes uh, microscope, centrifuge, colorimeter you can see here written, hemocytometer, automated cell counter and so on. These are the minimum required laboratory instruments which is uh, which uh, runs a laboratory in a proper way. There are huge and huge amount of different uh, types of hematological instruments which can be used in a laboratory but these are the minimally required laboratory instruments to run a hematology laboratory properly. First of all we will discuss about the compound microscope in a vivid way. Now what is microscope? 
written here micro means small small means which cannot be detected by the uh, uh, naked eye and scope means is means to view that means it is an instrument which help us to uh, view those objects which cannot be seen in the naked eye and uh, the science which deals with this uh, observing of the small ob objects uh, with this uh, microscope that is called microscopy in a hematology laboratory the most important type of microscope is compound microscope now there are a few parts of the compound microscope which uh, i am going to tell now number one is eyepiece or ocular lens it is written here it is the lens that is present at the topmost part of the microscope and it helps us to see the object which we want to see and which is kept on the stage of the microscope next comes the tube this tube actually connects the eyepiece with the objective resolving nose piece Resolving nose piece is a particular part, it is written here in the figure you can see, which holds the different objective lenses. There are different type of objective lenses like 10x, 40x, 100x according to the power. 10x is of the smallest power, above that 40x, above that 100x. So these all lenses are fitted very finely in the resolving nose piece. Resolving means a nose piece can be moved. Some other parts of the compound microscopes are diaphragm. It is, con it is considered as the uh, optical part of the microscope. It helps in controlling the amount of the light that is passing through the uh, opening of the stage. That means how much illumination will be there on the particular specimen that is totally controlled by diaphragm. Now quartz adjustment screw, it is uh, written here quartz focus means uh, when whenever a matter is placed on the stage to see it is uh, it should be focused properly that means it should be you know, focused in such a way that a person can see it clearly so that is the work of the course adjustment screw regarding the fine adjustment screw you can see thus written uh, below the course focus that is fine focus it uh, moves the body tube by focusing the high power lenses so it is very much important uh, useful for the high power lenses now arm, arm supports the tube of the microscope which connect to the base of the microscope, base is written in the figure you can see the last part of the microscope. Now stage, stage is a squared uh, black part which is uh, actually used to place the object that we are want to see. It is uh, also contain the stage clip to hold the slide in a proper way and also sometimes there is vertical scales are also present. Some few more uh, parts of this uh, compound microscope are condenser. The main function of the condenser lens is focusing the light on the specimen under observation. When very high powers of 400 x are used, condenser lens are very important. So this is very important, more the power, more the importance of the condenser lens. Now base, it is the base on which the total microscope stands. There is a mirror also which is called the plano concave mirror. One side is plane, another side is concave and both are used to uh, used in different type of light. Power switch that is to give the power to the compound microscope. Next instrument we are going to discuss is hemocytometer. As the name implies that uh, heme means uh, related to the blood and uh, cytometer means uh, when uh, we are going to... Uh, means determine the total amount of the different type of blood cells like red blood cells, white blood cells and uh, uh, thrombocytes or the platelets, then we use this manual instrument that is hemocytometer. So first of all, this is the WBC pipette we can see, next comes the RBC pipette, next comes the Neuber chamber. So we have to uh, take the blood uh, sample by means of the particular pipette which we want to use that means in case of the uh, total WBC count we have to use the WBC pipette for the, the RBC count or platelet count we have to use the RBC pipette and then we have to mix it with the separate dilution fluid for WBC it is di WBC dilution fluid for RBC it is RBC dilution fluid for platelet it is platelet dilution fluid. After proper dilution in the pipette, we have to keep it for some time for proper mixing and we have to charge it. Charge means we have to place a drop of that particular uh, mixture onto the Neuber chamber. There are uh, two chambers in the Neuber chamber which are totally microscopic. 
we can only see under high power objective of the microscope and we will place that particular solution or the diluted uh, fluid onto that uh, chamber we will cover it by the cover slip and we will focus it on the high power objective of the microscope if we want to uh, count uh, total wbc then we have to focus it in 10x if we want to count uh, the rbc or the platelet then we have to uh, focus on the uh, focus by 40x so we can um, identify this wbc and rbc pipette by means of the beads you can see uh, in the wbc pipette there is a white bead in the bulb and the RBC pipette there is a red bead in the bulb. So this is hemocytometer helpful for the counting of total RBC, WBC and platelet. Next instrument is Shalys hemoglobinometer. As the name implies that it is uh, helpful for the estimation of the hemoglobin. You can say that Hardman Shalley invented this equipment long before in 1902. That means the importance of the hemoglobin and it should be estimated and it should be uh, means uh, followed properly it uh, this concept was long back 1902 and after the name of the inventor it is known as Shalys hemoglobinometer the main part is here it is uh, given here that is a glass rod which is used to mix the mixture of the blood sample with the uh, hydrochloric acid then a hemoglobin pipette which helps to uh, take or to measure the blood or the blood sample there is a comparator, uh, there is a, a comparator, means a, sorry, hemoglobin tube is seen here, within which we have to mix that HCl with that uh, blood sample, which ultimately converted into acid hematin and uh, turns the color into brown. And this is the comparator box, the middle part is uh, blank. There we have to put this uh, uh, Shelley's graduated hemoglobin tube, and with the help of the drop by drop distilled water, we have to make. Uh, that uh, solution dilute and we have to compare the color with the uh, two colors two column of colors seen here so this is the way how the Shalys hemoglobinometer works it's also a total manual process if we want to uh, collect the sample in the field and we want to uh, detect the hemoglobin on spot in the field and so uh, where electricity is not available that uh, part also we can take this uh, Shalys hemoglobinometer it comes within a total arrangement comes within a box. So today we have discussed about uh, compound microscope, hemocytometer and Shalys hemoglobinometer. Here are some references for your further study if you want to know more. Thank you very much for listening to this uh, lecture and uh, the other equipments will be continued to part 2 in another video. Thank you very much. Keep in touch. Bye-bye.